What's up, mga kahombre? Ay, mali pala. <laughs> Hindi pala ako sino kagano. Ano nga pala to? Aking palang, ano to? <laughs> What's up, mga kagaming, mga chong? Uh, ito tayo sa episode 2. Episode 2 ng Walking Dead. Hmm. Tuloy, simula na natin to para matapos din agad. Eh, alam ko, may may nag-aantay dyan eh. Pasensya na pala sa mga sa mga nag-aantay. Hindi ako nakapag-upload kahapon. Ngayon tayo mag-upload ng 2 tsaka 3. Kaya abangan nyo yan. Tsaka ano pala? Tsaka ano nga pala? Pag na 100 na tayong likes sa Facebook, magpaparapol tayo syempre sa mga nag-likes para sa PUBG t-shirt. PUBG t-shirt. Yan. Tsaka 100 pesos low. Syempre, hindi pa naman tayo pwede magpaparapol ng mga bibigating ano, may gawa ng magsisimula pa lang naman tayo. At least meron, di ba? Kaya, yeah, tuloy lang ang pag-like tsaka pag-share. Okay? I know who you are. I got another good one for you. Yan, ang nakaraan. Nakaraan sa episode 1. All by uh, yourself right. do this. Yeah, Pwede I want my parents rapper? to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of those yeah, people. We reason with the world. The bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Bye bye, dog. Oh, God. Don't give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Hindi ako mapag, ano eh, record ng gabi. Lagang umaga lang, maingi pag gabi. Pero, okay lang. Ganda naman pag umaga. Hmm. Ngayon na pa nangyayari sa episode 2. So, baybayan po natin ang pagdapa ni Lee. Lagi siya na dato ka eh. So, baybayan natin yung pagdapa, na, pagdapa niya sa episode 2. <laughs> Uy, teka lang. Pakontrol na pala ako. Oh, may jogor. Oh, who's this? Damn it. Yun na to. What they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Well, that's another meal lost. Who's the fucking guy? I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. I don't know. moment. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it if you ask him. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal anyway? Seems like he's freaking Larry, Larry and keep it out. 
He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. If our problems are not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. <laughs> Para sa wala eh. Tago. Para na ako makasag lang yung hindi. Tayo ba naman yun? It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Di nga. Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Stop it. Look at that. Come on, Bob and Tao. Come on. Jesus Christ. Oh shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not going to hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Can't chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, fucked up. You gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. You gotta get him out of there. Oh God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh shit. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit. Walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please. Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Why is this happening to us? Please, hurry up! There's so much blood. Maybe I can pry it open with this brick. Hurry! Get the chain! What are you doing? I don't want to get it. Oh God, oh God. Let's go, let's go! This can't be bad. Try something. How would somebody do this? Stop, 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 stop! There's got to be another way. You can't just leave him like this. We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go now. Go. No, no, no! Try the trap again. Anything. Lee, I can't keep him back forever. I want my leg. I want my leg. Not going. Fuck! I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. Oh God! There's so many of them. Jesus! I need to walk. What do you think? Please, please, please! What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop, stop, stop! What are you doing? Come on, get it off! I'm sorry, this wasn't a choice. Come on, we gotta go! Now! No! No, don't leave me! Damn it, Lee! I'm sorry. No! We can't leave Mr. Parker like that! Give me the gun! Give it to me! Damn it, let Travis! go! No gun! <laughs> Shit! What happened? He went for the gun! Oh, God. 
shit. Keep moving. Come on, move! You can't leave me like this. Please get me out. Wala naman ako ng choice <laughs> Oh come on That's the reality Hindi mo lahat maliligtas Tandaan mo yan Di Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come on! Oh my God! What happened? Oh, what the hell are they doing? We have time to explain. Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What's no, your mouth? I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group. Right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying <clears throat> any groceries, are you? Um, no? Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. What? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on. You're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. <clears throat> you know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Yeah, I'm gonna make it up the position. Shit.
Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. What were you thinking bringing him here? Even if he lives, we aren't going to be able to take care of him. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. <clears throat> well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Here, eat something. Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. I need space, Lee. Okay. I, I want to give you a boot, but you don't. don't. How you doing, Clementine? <coughs> okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can mm. you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, when are we gonna get some food? Hey Duck, I'm out a little food. Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! How you doing, Doc? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. <laughs> you were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Catch you later, Doc. Bye, Lee. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, hon. You said you didn't think they would find us. Well, yeah, but that's just because... But we can try to find them. Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. I will. Strong kids, strong kids. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? It doesn't look good, Clementine. It doesn't look good. Oh, okay. Want something to eat? Have an apple, Carly. God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds, and that wasn't enough even then. But you know what? Yes. Oh, uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. <laughs> Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. 
On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Yeah. Thanks, Carly. Back in a bit. Then I think I'm going to sorry. Sorry for the word. Not all. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry, give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. <laughs> Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before- Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, Kenny. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? <laughs> There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah? Well, I don't see you working on that wall. Uh, Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... What's his problem? Don't be like that, Lee. I know we've all seen death, but that doesn't make it any easier. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Oh, you know, you know, I'll go with it. Get out of the damn way! Damn it, I had it! Fuck! Oh, the one at the body shop is the one. You okay? Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? 
he was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What?! Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. It's too much problem. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax! Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look. We own a dairy farm a few miles up the road, and y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Good, good, good. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit. Okay, guys. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? I think we'll stay here. We're starting to develop a good vibe here at the motel. Good vibe? Well, Christ, daddy -o. I'm sorry the folks with the food supply and defenses didn't tickle your pretty pink ass. We need to think like a group, Lee. This affects everyone. Then we vote. If everyone agrees, then we'll send you guys with some gas to check the place out. And if we don't? Then we'll stay in this wretched roach motel with your recreational paperweight over there. Plus, we stay close to Macon where we have access to the pharmacy for Dad. Kenny, Katja? We go. Dad? You bet you, Pumpkin. Carly? I said we go. I'm in. If they're offering food, we gotta at least check it out. Clementine, what do you think? Me? I'm very hungry. It's like we're going to a dairy. Ah, uh, one. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a little? Sure, everybody looks up to you. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great, that can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? Never they could get their hands it was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank hey, God show, Lee showed show. up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in the... 
No, I got 13 units on a good battery motor. Who's running things over there? Lily. Runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Well, the kid here's our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Oh, shit. It's this. Shh, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. Are. And you guys were keeping it there's all to yourself. Them. Oh, no. There's yeah, a you know lot what? more. We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh, yeah, this is... Ooh, this is... Shit. Ooh. Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus. Dumpster man. Asshole. It's a fucking dumpster. Oh, man. Come on. Let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Hindi na kayo mag-away, no? Magbabari na doon. Sabor ba kayo sa ganyan? Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mom. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could Better for the day. Than... Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? 
Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. Okay, here we go again. So what's your read on Andy so far? Think they'd be open to letting us stay? Getting the perimeter secured is going to help us a lot. We'll be getting in good and making this place safer for us. I'm going to get back to it. Glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak That's points, awful, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Think we're doing enough to get the St. John's to like us? Well, we don't want to seem over anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is gonna go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. <laughs> There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Disgusting. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. We've got enough people to take this place by force if we have to. Sheesh, Lee. You sound like Kenny. There's another one. I see it. Oh. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Cry. 
beast. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! Ah! What the? Get to the gate. Get down. You asshole. Jesus. Damn you. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. What about our arrangements? I see ya. Out of there, buddy. Get on the tractor. Where do you think you're going? Ooh. I don't want to Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Don't think I can't see ya. Oh, he's a boy. Let's see how it goes. The electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit! Are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just... 
pull it out. Oh, no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. Christ, maybe you were right about this place, Lee. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. Do you know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's <laughs> real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing? I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Um, guys. Ititigil muna natin tong stream na din. Para sa part 4. Eh, malaki na naman kasi siya. Nasa 47 na na siya. 47 minutes. So, mahirapan na naman tayo kapag nag-1 hour. Pero, tutuloy naman natin to. Para sa part, part 5 ba? Tama, part 5. Basta, tutuloy natin ito. At uh, saka huwag kalimutan subscribe yung channel ko at saka yung page ko sa Facebook at sa YouTube yung channel ko. Huwag nyo kalimutan hindi subscribe. Kailangan yung subscribe yun para may ping sa inyo ang YouTube kung may upload ako. So, bye bye nyo to. Maganda to. At uh, mag-upload pa ako ng maraming games na nilalaro ko siyempre para i-share sa inyo. Alamat. Thank you.